truck and someday find that truck, I'll own it. And, and I like the LB7s because they're pre-emissions and they're hard to put injectors in, but you do it once, you put a fast on it, that's over. Um, but the, but it's, it's, I've never seen a broken crank in an LB7 in 15 years of working on diesel trucks. I've seen broken cranks in LLYs. I've seen broken cranks in LBZs. I've seen broken cranks in LMMs, a lot of LMMs. I've seen broken cranks in LMLs. I've seen more broken cranks in L5Ps than any other Duramax that we've worked on in the shop. So I like the LB7 for those reasons. Uh, they have weak rods. If you're going to make big power, if you're going to go over 600 horsepower, you're going to have to put a set of Corolla rods in it or put a set of LBZ rods in it. Um, do a set of D-lip pistons if you want to make big power. But for the utilitarian guy, the rancher, the farmer, the construction worker, the plumber, if you want the best Duramax ever made, find LB7. 